Oleg Inosar, and I am uh, uh, 48 years old now. Yeah. Actually, my daughter, that she became a believer about 10 years before that, when I heard that, uh, I go against that. And I thought that she, you know, she, she became a Christian or something like that. And uh, it's against the Jewish uh, faith and the uh, way. Not that I was a religious person or something like that, but it's from generation to generation, you just don't see the, the truth and you veiled actually by tradition, by, uh, by, because God, you know, said that there is a veil on the Jewish nation. I go to organization, uh, a, a, a religious Jewish organization that called Yad Le'achim. It's, in, it's a hand for brothers. Uh, that this um, organization actually tried to uh, prevent from people to go to to, uh, to 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 walk with the Jewish tradition, religious tradition, Orthodox reli religious uh, um, tradition, and um, so I go to them. First of all, I try to speak with her, but I saw that uh, I, I'm not having any success. So I go to to, to this organization. I contact them, and uh, we we spoke. I, they sent somebody to my my place, and we spoke a little bit, and. Uh, we decided on a way of try to 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 to, to save her from uh, from uh, this uh, new, new unfamiliar uh, way for us that she started to walk and um, yeah they followed her they try to they send people to try to speak with her they go to speak with her mother but it it, it didn't help so after uh, after a while. Um, I saw that uh, for the sake of our, our relationship, me and my daughter, I, I will, it's better for me to leave that. And I thought, you know, that it will pass away by itself. You know, uh, like, uh, like uh, you know, the, the, the Sanhedrin, the, 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 the Sanhedrin in, 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 in the, uh, the, the time of the disciples, when they catch disciples, uh, they want to, to, to uh, kill them. And uh, then uh, some rabbi called Gamliel said, you know, if, if, you know, he said, if it's, if it's true, we are going against God, but if it's not true, it will vanish by itself, you know. So I thought it will vanish by itself. I didn't think it's from God even, you know. I came to my house with the other two believers, and uh, I told them that evening, that was the evening of Passover, I told to my daughter and the other two believers that uh, was in my house that day, that um, I really respect their faith, and uh, I have, even I'm envying them in, 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 in a way, because I see the, that they are very strong. But I said that, uh, well, I'm not a believer, I don't want to believe, and there, there is no any chance in the world that I will believe, you know. But, I said to them, but, in the same breath, I said, but, if this is true, in front of God, it, I, I, will, I will be a believer if this is true. And actually, it was a miracle because in that second that I said this word, I became a believer. After an hour or two hours uh, after that, uh, yeah, I baptized. And uh, since, since that day, um, I walk with God. Yeah. Well, I'm a hairdresser. I speak with the, the person that I'm doing his hair, and uh, and then uh, conversations start to run, and and then uh, then you know because because if it was in my powers, I don't believe that something is possible. But God, a lot of time, put uh, words in my in my mind. You know, His spirits, His spirit that walk in that is in me, speak. You know, speak, and suddenly there is a conversation, and. Uh, yeah, so everybody listen to, this is not my message, you know, this is God's message. There is people that don't like to, to, to maybe, maybe all of them don't like, but somebody can bear it, you know, and uh, they don't come anymore, but, uh, but some of the people uh, come and, 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 and we speak again and again and again. People believe, you know, 
they rely on them, the, 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 themselves wisdom. Everybody have another answer, but the, 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 main, uh, the main answer, the, the common answer is um, a person shall live in his faith, all right? But there is two meanings to a person shall live in his uh, own faith. Uh, one is you can live in any say if you can you can live in in Buddha you can uh, you can uh, you can if, uh, believe in Buddha you can believe in uh, in in in, in, in uh, Muhammad you can believe in uh, Yeshua you can believe in uh, the Rabbi that or God or whatever and you, you this is your uh, this is your uh, right actually so they are interpreted in this way but this is a wrong uh, interpretation because uh, the, 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 the the real interpretation is that you will leave just if you believe in the, in the in in the right thing if not you are dead I feel very blessed because of that you know and uh, it's a privilege because uh, yeah I can evangelize to a lot of people and actually people come to me. People come to, 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 to me to, to, to listen to the, the, the good news, to the gospel. I don't even need to go out, you know, and uh, we provide all the time. It's amazing because some of the people, you know, they are not cold, they're not warm. Some of the people, yeah, they're listening and some of the people actually reject it, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I, I believe that uh, until today I spoke with uh, more than hundreds of people, I believe even thousands of people. But uh, yeah, you know, it's not uh, depend on me. I do my part and then God is doing the rest.